Hi, just a follow-up on my uh, new 4K monitor that I've got and uh, the problems that I'm having. If you're not aware, I do run a three-monitor uh, system here for my uh, video editing and uh, screen capture and everything else. I've got a full HD 1920 by 1080 one that I do tw uh, 1080p capture on, and that's kind of like my main web browsing one. And then I've got, I used to have a 2K monitor, uh, what a 1440p monitor in the middle that I would uh, do my video editing on because it had larger real estate that was only a 25 inch uh, mo monitor uh, 2k and it worked fine um, and then I've got a portrait one on the side which is an oddball resolution I got from the dumpster and that I use for documents uh, vertical uh, portrait documents anyway I decided that I needed a bigger monitor from my 25 inch 2K. So I went, well, I think I can fit a 32 inch here on my desk. So I bought a 32 inch uh, monitor and I thought, well, I'm behind a new monitor. I might as well get a 4K one without even thinking about uh, the screen like scaling and stuff like that. Would I actually be able to see the fonts and the Windows scaling issue and stuff like that anyway? I've been pulling my hair out for like the last week trying to get this optimized. Now, let's let's have a look here. I'm now running my new 4K. It's a BenQ monitor, one of these eye care ones for, you know, for those who care. I'm not sure of the model number. Anyway, it's a 4K BenQ monitor. And, um, of course, there's a couple of windows. Uh, okay, let me, let, let's start out. Let's go into display settings here okay so these are my monitors that i've got uh set up as you can see it's a 3840 by 2160 and it recommends windows recommends a 150 percent scaling factor now of course i run all my others 100 percent scaling but if you run a hundred percent scaling on I'm not sure. You'll have to watch this in 4K, probably, um, to get this. I'm capturing this in 4K. And you can see that, like, the fonts, I can see them. I can read them. But, like, being, I'm probably 800 millimeters away, 8, 900 millimeters away from the screen. And I can read them, but they're small, and I've got to concentrate. And if I um, run my um, Vegas video editing software, then... You know, uh, the fonts, are, like, it, it looks great. It's all nice and sharp. All the fonts are perfect. Everything's just fine and dandy, but they're too small. The font is too small for me to read. I don't want to have to squint. I'll end up ruining my eyesight uh, to do that, right? So I, I don't want to do that um, at all. So, um, yeah, don't buy a 32-inch 4K, sit 800 millimeters away from it or a meter away and think that you're going to be able to read it on 100% scaling because you won't, <laughs> okay? So you've got to actually follow Windows scaling uh, re recommendations to actually scale it up. And, of course, your applications change. Yes, I'm aware that when you do this, you might have to reboot your machine and reboot your applications in order for it to take effect, but it works in this particular case that I'm going to show here. Anyway, so 150% scaling, and the fonts are quite a re readable size. But the problem has been that some applications are blurry. And here we go. Windows tell you, tells you down here, fix apps that are blurry. And you can go in there and like open settings, and you can fix scaling apps that are blurry. I don't recommend this, and I found that no option of that makes it actually work. So... <laughs> We can piss that off completely, Windows scaling. Now, uh, there are several ways... Oh, well, actually, let me show you the problem, okay? I, uh, I load up... I run Vegas, okay? 150% scaling. You might see... I'm not sure if this is going to show up, okay? The, the text in the top left corner there, in the title bar, is nice and sharp, okay? It's rendered correctly. Uh, yep. Hang on. Someone's here, that's all. All right, sorry about that. That was a new delivery of new 121GW multimeters. Huge truck turned up. was very bemused. Um, that where's, where's the loading dock? <laughs> nah. Corporate office tower. Um, yeah, anyway. Where was I? Yes, look. Right? Ve um, this varies from app to app, okay? But, of course, the main app I'm going to use on this monitor is Vegas okay so you can see 
that the font up in the top left hand corner there is nice and sharp no problems whatsoever this is hundred and fifty percent scale in Windows recommended and yes I have tried all other scaling factors and nothing works and 150 percent happens to be optimal for the screen size the 32 inches and the like 800 millimeters distance um, you know it's just like a nice readable font but look the menus Ah, just a little bit blurry. I'm not sure if this is going to show up on the screen capture. I can read them fine. There's nothing wrong with my eyes. They're actually, they're they're slightly blurry. The font rendering is just not sharp. They're trying to do the font scaling on there. Okay, so it's actually, you know, it's it's just fuzzy, and I don't want to ruin my eyes looking at a sort of a fuzzy image. I want a nice sharp font on the thing. Now. Uh, as you can see, the uh, the win like the Windows desktop icons, they're all fine, no problems whatsoever, right? And now there is a way to actually um, Windows provides several ways to fix the blurry thing that popped up. It's also that's like an automated uh, kind of thing, and then it's also got that scaling, as I said, here, right? So you've got the the scaling factor, plus you can optimize in your with your GPU in this case I've got Nvidia card and it's important in this case to put no scale in and override scaling mode by games and programs and all that sort of jazz right so you've got the option in there as well but Windows also has what's called a clear type text option so Windows 10 does now turn on clear type and uh, if you turn it on makes your text I'm not sure if you can see that, but makes your text sharper. And if you go through, then it will um, give you various options. You can say, okay, I want to select this. I want to calibrate this monitor for font. And it'll take you through all sorts of different uh, five pages of choose the best font, you know, how it's rendered and stuff like that. But that never fixed the no matter what options I did there for clear type but whether it was on or off or whether I went through and calibrated it for this monitor it never worked for Vegas so Vegas was obviously overriding that and doing its own thing as would um, say uh, Earth and View as well Earth, Earth and View would be another one it's not going to do it now no no that's clear as okay but Earth and View gave me and actually gives me a problem on my 1080 monitor which I need to fix, okay? So, Earth and View is actually sharp. These fonts here are nice and sharp on this 4K monitor with 100% scaling, but I drag that, uh, sorry, I can't capture it now, um, but drag it over and they're fuzzy. They instantly become fuzzy. It's a per screen thing that's happening, which is really rather annoying. So anyway, what we wanna do is fix Vegas. So what you can do is you go into Vegas, you gotta do the exe, okay? So you gotta go into the executable, not the uh, link to it or anything like that. You go into properties and you click compatibility here. Okay, and uh, here we go, change high DPI settings. Okay, you've got to click on that and then use this setting to fix scaling problems for this program instead of the one in settings. This was normally unchecked. I checked that and it didn't fix the problem. So I'm going to leave it checked. So I haven't checked, no pun intended, if it works with or without that option. But the one that fixes it, the magic option is here. High DPI scaling override. Override high DPI scaling behavior performed by, you've got application system or enhanced. I haven't tried the others, but it works on application. So if I click that, I should have had Vegas open, I guess. And we apply, and then we can go in, it's done. It's done. Vegas should now be fixed on this. Look, you can see it. It's sharper. I can see it instantly. Boom. And now all the text looks nice and sharp. It hasn't tried to correct all that bullshit. Beautiful. Problem solved. I'm going to, I thought I was going to have to go out and buy a 2K monitor, like a 32 inch 2K which is a 2560 by 1440 resolution in order to do one-to-one 100% -one scaling. So to get the larger screen, to get the larger font, to make it sort of like easy to read, but also get, um, well, yeah, <laughs> it would have been the same as my, no, it would have given me more information on my Vegas screen here. And the thing with, thing with this, right, if I, 
sorry it, it's not all set up at the moment it's not it's because it's anyway if i go into here and i set it to like 200 percent scaling okay then that will change vegas and i won't see as much stuff right vegas will look much bigger here like things actually it hasn't changed it did before it's asking me if i want blurry again but anyway usually it changes so that you can't see as much information there on the screen so if we go into oh no if we go into 100 percent scaling of course we will boom boom shake a boom we will get much more stuff will fit much more stuff on our vegas screen which is important when you're editing you can get more stuff in the timeline and more stuff in your docking bars up here and all that sort of jazz anyway um that has fixed my problem um thanks to everyone who tried to help on twitter and uh maybe i asked it on the forum as well and everyone was throwing options oh clear type will fix it nah didn't fix it it was that uh individual uh dpi high dpi scaling factor in the properties for the actual application so i might have to change the application for each and every program god that's small i'm gonna have to change that back <laughs> that's ridiculous the re windows recommended one is just fine and dandy thank you very much uh yeah done done we're all good to go so there you go it was that that was the issue with the high dpi scaling so it might have to change that app by app but as i said not all apps have the problem some just work just fine they render their fonts just fine and uh it depends on how they've written and compiled the program and stuff like that um and david said that when he was writing the apps like the windows app for the 121 gw for example when he did the development he just like turned off all this proper scaling and he said look it's going to look you know shit during development but trust me it'll look better when i apply all the scaling stuff the proper scaling stuff inside the uh, software so some apps just maybe aren't written well or um, aren't optimized or whatever um vegas uh, seems to be one of them it's not necessarily bad maybe it's op uh, optimized for other situations i'm not sure of the details but that change high dpi settings works a treat winner winner chicken dinner so i'm now happy with my 4k monitor i want to be i paid a lot of money for it and uh, i was hoping i wouldn't have to like resell it scrap it no, i wasn't gonna scrap it but yeah I... <laughs> anyway i've now got my 32 inch which seems like a, a it's a great size for my desktop here wouldn't want any big everyone says get a 40 inch no my desk is only so deep okay i just like <laughs> this one's practically it's actually hanging over the back of the desk here so yeah no thanks um so 32 inch is great and vegas is fixed and i'm happy as larry except my name ain't larry it's dave oh bloody fix blurry options again oh piss off windows anyway there you go hope you found that useful high dpi scaling catch you next time